Jurassic collectors and Jurassic fans alike. My name is Jacob and welcome back to the third installment of Jurassic World Figures. No primal attack yet, but we're going big. We're going to go big, all right? Third video in, we're going. We're going all out, all right? So this, this is going to be a, 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 I don't know what to call it, but we're going big. There it is. Would you expect it to be? It is the primal attack. Calavosaurus. Attack pack. Calavosaurus. Now, this was a Christmas gift. But I didn't want to review it just yet. I wanted to make sure that my channel to uh, kind of get a little bit of exposure. You know, to get people used to who I am and what I'm doing. So, I decided to provide... With the, we're not doing a Calibosaurus, all right? I, I, I fooled you. You've been, you've been bamboozled. We're not doing a Calibosaurus just yet. I know, I, I, mean, I mean, I have it. I have it ready. I have it set. It's sealed. Like, never been opened. Sealed. Everybody's done it already. I have two Primal Attack figures. I haven't opened them. I've got them since Christmas. I haven't opened them because I've been waiting, okay? Once my channel gets a little bit more exposure and a little bit more people come in and view my productions and process of reviewing Jurassic Dinosaurs, I think I will start reviewing Primal Attack and then I'm pretty sure it'll be probably be my next video, honestly. But anyway, we are actually going big. Uh, obviously, this was a huge thing everybody wanted and a lot of people have done it already. But why not me do it? Because I feel like I can and I will. Nothing you can do to stop me. We have the Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus from Jurassic World. This retails for $49.99. I got it at Target for $54 with tax. Yeah, I think it was $54. I have the receipt somewhere. I know it's $54. It's including tax. So this is a very expensive product. But... Is it well worth it? It is very worth it. So obviously on the front here, you've got your beautiful mural of the first scene in Jurassic Park that obviously includes all the dinosaurs. You got your Legacy Collection logo up in the corner here. You got your Brachiosaurus looking all mighty high and proud and mighty. You got your tree right here because that's what the Brachiosaurus is, right? Looks pretty close to the tree. Looks like it's gonna eat from the tree. It's gonna eat from the tree. You got Ellie Sap. No, that's John Hammond. Then you got Ellie Sattler. Then you got Alan Grant sitting right there on the ground. You've got the lake in the background with your parasaurs and your other brachiosaurs. Now, I will reveal all the parts of the box, but what I want to show you guys is having to do with those parasaurs. You can, you can, you can see all these parasaurs, right? You can see all of these. But you, but you gotta notice something. Each of these has like a, a spotted pattern. You know, except except for this one. This one looks a little different than the rest. That is the Lost World Parasaurolophus toy from Kenner. It is standing in the upright position, much like the Kenner one did. And I will post two pictures side by side of what the dinosaur or what the toy looked like compared to the image of the box. But you got this side, you got this side, which is just legacy collection trees and bushes and all that. With Little kid playing with the dinosaur, then you got your dimensions of the dinosaur, Jurassic World Facts app, and then your Legacy Collection logo up there. On the back, you get a higher stance of a Brachiosaurus. So you get a better image, a zoomed in picture of the Brachiosaurus up here, along with the dimensions, and your kid playing with the dinosaur. Also Legacy Collection, Brachiosaurus mentioned in four different languages. On the bottom here, you just have your scan code, your Mattel, and then all the warning labels, and information that you need to know. You can't see it, but it's there. Now you can display this box many ways. If, you're at, if you want to keep the Brachiosaurus in the box, you can display it this way, you can display it this way, or surprisingly you can display it this way and just stack all your dinosaurs on top of that. You know it's a Brachiosaurus because you bought it. Oh, the, 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 there's the instructions of how to put this dinosaur together. But you know me, I don't clip anything in. 
Because I, I was able to put this back in the box, obviously. I took it out once to see what it looked like, and it's absolutely amazing. So I put it back in the box. I didn't put it together. And I'm able to put it back in the box. So I can put this in another box for storage if I don't want to have this displayed. I may want it displayed forever. I may want it in the box for a while. Who knows? The Super Colossals are coming out. And you've got the Super Colossal Velociraptor Blue and the Super Colossal Indominus Rex. I want those two. Maybe I want to put the sky away and replace them with the Super Colossals. I have limited space in my room, so that's why I tape the dinosaurs' tails or body parts together so I can just untape them, put them back in the box, and store them for later. Yes, it looks ugly, but it holds pretty well. So, let's get this dinosaur out of its package so I can show you what actual sheer beauty it really is. So obviously, as you can tell, I opened it from the bottom. You can open it from the sides, but I chose the bottom because it has these little tabs that slide into the box. So... Here's a bag full of dismembered Brachiosaurus parts. So we're moving some. You get the head, you get the tail, and you get the body. So here's the body of the Brachiosaurus. This ain't gonna fit well on camera. Oh, maybe. No, it won't. Let's move that up. Bag. You're out of here. Here's the tail. Bag. Hasta la pasta. Then you've got the head. What do we do with the bag? Hasta la bye bye. We don't need it. So here are the parts. It comes with three pieces. You get the body, you get the head, and you get the tail. This is how breakfast sources are made. So obviously, before putting this dinosaur together, once you put these pieces in, they are not coming back out. Because inside there, I don't know how well you're going to see it, but now you can kind of see it. Little clip points on the inside there. Yeah, that latches onto some of these parts. It latches it onto this lip right here at the top. So once, once that's in, it ain't coming back out. Same thing with the bottom here. It has that little tab. So when you clip it in back here, it's got the little grippy grips, the little lips on the corner that will latch on to these pieces right here. So it ain't coming back out no matter how hard you try. So this is going to be really difficult to show up close. So let's go through with articulation before I put this figure together. This tail right here has three notches one two is the middle oh you heard that twice that's the middle two and then three you only get three notches so when clipped in it's going to be facing this way so as you can see the tail goes downwards you want it pointing upwards when you clip it in and then you can move it back and forth this way so, I don't know, tape came out of nowhere. When the tail is in, it just notches on back here. And it holds. That tape holds. Yes, it looks very ugly, but like I said, I would want to be able to put these back in their original packaging. So, overall, the legs can move back. I believe they can go full 360. You can pull the whole thing behind. So, putting that down. Front limbs can go up exactly that far so you can get like the downward stretching position if you want to. And I know everyone will, and I hope to try to do it on camera, but everyone wants to put this bracket sword it's hard to do. in the upright position when it goes up to eat the tree. And here's the head. And your articulation is up here. You get that. And then when you clip it in, which I don't want to, you get the rotation here of the Brachiosaurus out of neck. And, oh, well, I should probably rotate it back first. Yeah. Oh, jeez. So when it's clipped in, you get movement going up or down. 
Yeah. You get that kind of bend. And when I just leave the head resting there, it should. It will, it'll slowly start to go down itself. Yeah. So what I do is, to keep that from happening, I have another piece of tape. It is latched onto this back side here. And then the head kind of just rests like that. Obviously, you cannot see it in frame. Even if I screw this on the edge of the table right here, this is how massive this figure is. So, we're gonna crank this thing up and move it up. There you go. Now I gotta stand up for this. No, I don't necessarily have to stand up for this. We're gonna try to do it like this. So, obviously, here you got the brachiosaurus. The mouth can open. So, you got that going on. Oh crap. It's moving it around the edge of the table once again. Actually, that works pretty well. Here's the beautiful head going down here to the tail. When it's not clipped in and I just have the tape going on, I mean, you can clearly see the tape here. But on a shelf, you don't really see the tape. And it still looks amazing like that. So, size comparison. Raptor Throat T-Rex, Dimetrodon, Roar of Allosaurus, Battle Damage Raptor, Attack Pack Raptor, Battle Damage Stiggy Moloch, and of course, Ian Malcolm. I have other Legacy Collection figures. I don't have Alan Grant, sadly. Back down. So that pretty much shows how giant the dinosaur is. So, yeah, it's a pretty massive dinosaur. Um, not really much else to talk about. Just the sheer size of it, you pretty much have nowhere to put it. That's how big it is. Much like the super colossal link. I can't really move the camera back. Limited space. Moving it back up. Let's rip off the neck and show you some better detail, shall we? So you have the wonderfully painted Brachiosaurus. It ain't gonna focus, is it? With the inside of the mouth, it's got this kind of like a like, like a reddish pink with white painted teeth, white painted upper jaw. And then you got the brown, and then this kind of like white gray coming down the neck with the brown backside. Black pupil. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but black pupil. And then that kind of dark brown runs all along the rest of that body with the white underbelly going under the body as well. So this is the dinosaur that everybody should be able to pick up. Again, it is 54 something that includes tax, but I believe that this dinosaur is well worth it, especially since the box itself is pretty unique. This is definitely worth your money. Now it is hollow on the inside. The neck is hollow in there too. It is hollow. Very hollow dinosaur. The legs are hollow. The feet, I believe, are solid. And I am going to give you the scan code. There's the scan code. I don't know how close I can get it so it captures. There's the scan code. So that is the Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus by Mattel. And so, in closing, that's pretty much all I have to say about this figure. Um, purchase it whenever you can. It's still at Target. I don't think these things are going to go out of stock, unlike the Spinosaurus. I think the Brachiosaurus will make a long-lasting shelf life. So, that is pretty much all I have to say. This is Jacob saying, buy more dinosaurs. Buy them all.